What's up everybody, my name is Ron Empire and welcome to my channel. Alright, welcome back everybody. This is Returned from Core. And I recently got this game key from Keymailer. I was offered a key from the developers to check this game out. And this is their launch campaign for the early access. So this game is not fully released yet. It's still in early access. And uh, it, from what I can tell, this game is very similar to uh, Core Keeper and Kepler. Both games are underground base building. And this game does have that vibe. Obviously some Stardew Valley inspiration as well. So let me um, read to you the description on uh, Steam. Unleash your creativity in the sandbox RPG that combines exploration, building, farming, automation, and monster girls. So that part sounds really interesting. Build your camp, develop agriculture, and encounter charming monster girls. Get ready for an unforgettable adventure. And the developer is uh, Tan Tanzum Tanzum Studio, and they are based in Shanghai, China. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into the game. This will be my first time playing, so it's a complete blind playthrough. So hopefully my gameplay today will help you decide whether you want to pick up this game or not, or wait until the release version. Um, all right, let's start a new game. All right, so it looks like I can change the head right here okay so it doesn't look like there is a a male or female or a gender option right yeah it doesn't look like there's a gender option so this is the character creation screen and i don't think i type in my name anywhere here um so everybody is generically the same gender and you only customize your look to be the gender that you want to look. All right, that's fine. Or maybe you're always a male. Maybe you're always a male. If there's monster girls in the game, and I guess the game is focused on you being a male. That could be it. All right, face. Um. Okay, makeup. I mean, or you can be trans, so that could work too. I don't know. It is, it is I guess, however you want to make, make it look, right? This looks like it's a female character. But I'll go with the generic hair there. That looks a little interesting. It's different. All right, so clothing... I do like the animation. It's really nice. Yeah, I really do like the animation. All right, so makeup, right? We don't want makeup. That puts some tats on our face, too. The clothing is kind of cool. I like that one. Pants. Oh, interesting. It's got a little flame on the bottom. It's, it's a little weird because I actually don't see the shoes. You see that? It's kind of like he's got stumps, but there's no shoes. Yeah, he's just... He's like the... He's probably like a pirate with, with stump legs. Alright, so pants with no shoes. Alright, we'll go with that. Head? Okay. So here, right out of the gate, we can see... Um, a bug here. Not sure if this is... I'm pretty sure this is a bug, right? It had... I, I don't think this is a translation issue. I think it's just a bug in terms of their text typo. I think they meant to say hands? Head and hands? Um, or gloves, right? Because it's actually changing the gloves. So yeah, that's something I'm noticing right here. And then package, I believe this is a backpack, right? Yeah, okay. And then lamp, okay. 
And similar to Core Keeper, there's like a lamp that you have that your character automatically holds, or it, or a character slot. One of the the equipment slots always has a lamp slot, right? They recently added that into Core Keeper. A, a while back in Core Keeper, they didn't actually have a separate slot for the the lamp or the lighting. It was shared with like the offhand or something. Okay, so yeah, that's fine. Let's go with that. Let's go complete this. All right, so World Seed. We're going to go with 2024. So it's 2024. Hunger depletion, resource rate, monster growth rate. We're going to leave all this on normal. And save file. We're going to call this Ron Empire. Yeah, that's fine. Let's hit complete. And then game mode. This is my first time playing a sandbox game. Uh, or I'm a sandbox veteran. Well, let's put it on the first time playing so I can read all the text and see what they have to offer us in, in terms of tutorial. Oh, it's kind of weird. There's no music or sound. Maybe I disabled it. Okay. Under round error to 15. Three years ago, your brother left the camp alone and had never returned. Then you decide to set off on your journey to make your mutual dream come true, right? I think it says true. Throughout your journey, you have been seen by the many wonderful sights in the underground, under something. When you, uh, when things get dire, you have, you met a new companion. The text is going by way too fast. The mysterious girl by the name of Lilith. The journey back to the surface world is not an easy one, but something. Yeah, the text just went by way too fast and I did not click on anything. It says something like what? ASWD to move, right? Yeah, ASWD to move. Okay, here's the music. Um, what can I do? Oh, hey, I got a fight. I can punch a rock. Can I punch a... No, there's nothing else I can do. Alright, I have to hit E key. When... Can I take the restrictor off? It hurts so bad. Main quest, an empty mine. Lilith, there's a restrictor? Main quest, an empty mine. Do I click? Oh yeah. Lilith, where am I? Okay. My name is Will, I guess. <laughs> Lilith, uh, you are awake. This is under where? Core level one. You're awake. This is underwear. Underwear? <laughs> uh, core level 1 is... This is under where core level 1 is. Alright, I'm a little confused on the little dialogue. I'm guessing the translation doesn't match. Um, or it's not a not an easy translation. I mean, like I said, this, this is a Chinese-based game developer. So I'm imagining that, you know, English is not their first language. So a lot of these texts probably have some, some issues. The place caved in when that big fella came. And you are unfortunately hit by the rocks. Okay. Uh, why can't I remember a thing? Maybe it's memory loss caused by brain damage. Oh boy, brain damage. The symptoms should be temporary. Your memories will be back in a few days. Okay. During this time, I will still fulfill my duty as the guide. Okay, she's a guide. Understood. Let's keep moving. Lilith, uh. Also, here is your pickaxe. I retrieved it for you. Oh my, it's so heavy. Alright, so I guess that your character is Will and it's a male gender. And so your looks is just basically whatever you want it to be. Representing Will. Also, here's your... Yeah, okay. It's, wow, thanks. Cool. You got a pickaxe. Nice. An empty mine. Left click to excavate. Press left click to excavate. Okay. Okay, cool. I like that. I like that. 
Do I break through this? Oh, I do. It's like Core Keeper. Move your cursor to change excavation direction. Oh, she follows me. Oh, this is nice. I got some moss something spores. Clay. Limestone. Yes, very Core Keeper-like. Uh, uh, continu continuous excavation. Press and hold left click. Okay. This is very cool. I, I don't mind this. I like this. This is nice. I'm definitely getting that Core Keeper vibe, and I really enjoyed Core Keeper a lot. Wait. Okay. That wall is not breakable. Press space to dash over obstacles. Oh. Uh oh. Right click to throw mining picks. To throw mining pick. Oh, this is really cool. Reminds me of Zelda back in the days when you had the boomerang. Yeah, I I I really enjoy the game Core Keeper because I can just sit around, relax, and mindlessly, you know, destroy walls. So this feels good. It feels nice. Now, it's a little bit dark over here. Is there a way to turn on my lamp, or do I... Okay. Left click to drive the torch you are holding into the ground. Oh, okay. Place item is left click. Uh, press space to dash over obstacles. Oh, looks like... Oh, that's why I can't dig it, because I am on the edge cliff. It's kind of like in Core Keeper, when you're at the... Uh, when you're... Um, when you're at the uh, the edge, like a uh, a cliff or whatever, a canyon, right? The canyon. So spacebar, okay. So spacebar lets me jump between canyon one tile, maybe two. I don't know. We'll see. Blue mushroom. What is this? Oh, she teleports. Choose suitable terrain. Oh, look at that. I open stuff. What is choose suitable terrain? What am I doing? Recover health. Okay, sure, but my health is not low. A dose of cable. Yeah, okay, sure. I click on it. Select medicine. Press and left click to use on blank area to use. On a blank area to use. Well, I'm not... Oh, I am low on health a little bit, but there you go. What is this? I'm guessing that causes damage. And maybe that's the tutorial probably wants me to regenerate. Choose terrain. Please choose suitable terrain. What is suitable? The bridge ahead has collapsed. Click tab to open backpack to build one. Oh, okay. Uh, bridge, single selection, sure, sure. What is this? Show craftable only. Oh, mobile craft station. Okay. Oh, okay. That was instance. Oh, what is this? Pick. Left shift is used. Take half, hold to dismantle, and left shift to discard. Wait, plus left shift. Left shift. Oh, 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 I have to hold the left shift key. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. All right. Uh, okay. What do I do here? Oh, okay. Alright, yeah, alright. It's like Core Keeper, build a bridge. 
All right, the torch doesn't seem to go out. Press and hold left shift to quick uh, to quickly lift up the torch. Press and hold left. Sh what? What? I think she's just trying to tell me. Hold. Press and hold left shift to quickly lift up the torch. Press and hold left shift to quickly lift up the torch. Oh, okay. It's kind of like in Core Keeper as well, where you can hit a key and it automatically switches the torch. God, I got it. Hang on, is there a reason then? Can I move this? I can move this. Yeah, because if it's always going to swap, I don't have to leave it in my bar, technically. Because in Core Keeper, it switches from your backpack. I wonder if I can do that too. Tab key, right? Tab key switches. Yeah, okay. So, okay, uh, yeah, it's, it pretty much copies Core Keeper's mechanics. All right, cool. All right, getting the hang of this. I'm digging it so far, I'm liking it. E key. What did that just do? I hit the E key, but I don't know what that did. Interesting. All right, looks like the pickaxe has durability. You see that? There's a little bar at the bottom. I'm not a big fan of durability. Core Keeper had that. The beginning of the core keeper's development, it did not have durability. So right out of the gate, this game decided to do um, durability. Okay, well, looks like that's not damaged. I don't get damage. I wonder why it's glowing. Maybe it's something I can dig up. Do I do anything else here? Looks like a shack of some sort. Alright, well that's fine. Let's keep going then. Follow the path here. E. Oh, E lights up the the hallways. Oh, E lights up the lamps. Let's see here. I can't E again, right? The one time E key. Day two. What? Day two already? What the hell? Hmm. Looks like there's night and day going on in the game. Uh, quest completed. Something about digging. Start of the journey. Proceed to mine to the mining area below. Receive copper ores. Okay. Tar okay. Uh, forge copper plates with the... Start of the journey. Forge copper plates with the furnace. Princip? Princip unknown. What's princip? What the hell is princip? Recipes? I don't know what the princip means. Well, that's bonfire, right? That's a stone pickaxe. Talent? Ooh, talent's interesting. What was this? Tech tree, not yet unlocked. Quest. What is this? Forge copper plates with the furnace. Where's the furnace? Unable to start. Cargo. Copper plate. Loading is incomplete. Okay. 
You know, some fireworks. E. Okay. Copper plates. What is this? Copper is an essential element in the electricity industry. Okay, sure. What is this? Shatter pieces of wood suitable only for burning. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. What, what is this? Oh. There's automation. Forge copper plates with the... With the target reach zero one. I don't know what the target reach zero one means. Maybe I wait until it's fully loaded? Oh, follow the mover. Target reach. Oh. Hang on, don't I? Should probably just collect some, right? Is there anything else I need down here? Just in case? Alright, well it wants me to follow the mover. Bone ashes. I got some coins. What now? Reached target reach. I'm here. Oh, okay. Animation. This is the entrance to core level one. You are you are really something. You can find something. Blah blah blah. With a uh, with a good with a guy does. Uh, oh my god. Hey, flattery flattery really works. Oh, what? Uh, but still, my obligation ends at core level one. <laughs> Understood. All right. The. The dialogue goes by really fast. What's wrong? Is this... Is that an earthquake? I believe the big fella must have heard it when we crashed through the door. It's coming for us. Get up quick or else we will be caught. What? What? I didn't even get the... Oh, oh, big fella. Giant flesh worm. Oh, my pickaxe. He dropped his pickaxe. Quest complete. Follow something. Uh, is this momentum reaching the surface world isn't that isn't far away uh could you lend me a hand first what right i almost forgot she she's actually somebody i brought you to the earth's core so there's nothing blah 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 some oh my god these dialogues uh uh you're leaving already yeah that the speed here is really fast uh not really straightforward huh uh, until we meet again yeah the dialogue speed doesn't seem like something a human can uh really no idea what her background is oh well i'll wait until i can find carl before deciding damn carl he said he would blah 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 if i find you i won't let you off easily level one gloomy chasm chasm two thousand meters below the surface i think that's what it said um, ask for clues on Carl. Talk to Adventure Joe. Okay. I can't go back down, huh? I got a new pickaxe? I got a stone pickaxe for an exchange. Uh, no connected something? No connect... Opening detected. Okay. Oh. Kind of like a 2D my time at Sand Rock. Smashing these little debris piles. Yeah. Alright, that might be Joe.
Yeah, I do like breaking these things down. So what is this? Recovery, health per second while near a bonfire. Oh, okay, cool. So there is a night and day here. What is this? Is that talk or is that stuff? It looks like a basket. Adventure Josh, be quiet. Main quest, ask for clues on... Hello, may I ask? Great. I've been eagerly waiting for your rescue team to arrive for so many years. Years? Huh? What? Let's hurry and excavate. I really don't want to stay in this lair for another second. Wait, you've mistaken me. I'm not a rescue team member. Just happened to pass by. Huh? Not a rescue team? And where did you come from? I dug all the way up from the uh, deeper below, aiming to return to the surface world. Am I hearing you correctly? You said you want to go back to the surface world. That's right, and also to find my unreliable brother. He should have been here three years ago. Have you seen him by ch any chance? Wait. Did you hear that sound? Hmm? Oh no, those damn rats have found us. Quick, let's eliminate them, or we might not be able to make it through the day. Okay, ask clues for Carl's. Is someone listening? Kill white r rat. Oh, the rat does have a little bit more health points than the worm. Surface world is the target. Ready? Or turn in. Is so okay, yeah, yeah. What is this? Oh, he's a seller, a vendor. Okay. I'm guessing I can buy stuff. Okay. Back key. Um, shh, be quiet. Mush, uh, main quest is somebody. Have you taken care of all of them? None escape, right? Uh, I won't let any ingredients. What? I won't let any ingredients. I won't let any ingredient? It's not enough to warm. To warm. What? What? I won't let any ingredient. Not enough to warm. What? What? What the hell? Phew, that's good. If they go away, we'd be in trouble. What does that mean? How about those rats? Don't let their innocence fool you. They are actually spies sent by the monsters. What? Monster? You mean giant rats? Uh, I need to elaborate more. What I mean... What I mean it, if you want to stay alive in core level 1, keep away from them. Got it, thanks. Also, I would like to ask you about someone. You are looking for someone. Let me set up my, up camp first. Our previous camp is discovered, so I'm going to leave in a rush. Leaving behind a lot of stuff. Our previous camp... I think our previous camp was discovered? So I'm going to leave in a rush, leaving behind... So I left in a rush, leaving behind lots of stuff? If you can help me carry those stuff over, you can count on me in finding the someone you seek. Okay. Yeah, the, the dialogue. Something's <laughs> it's killing me. It really is killing me. Um. Yeah. What the hell? How to plant crop. In quick menu, select the seeds you want you wish to plant the mouse or move cursor to select farmland uh press left click to place seed sure uh there are four phases to a plant seed sprout sapling and matured water is required for the first three phases to ensure normal growth craft a canteen with crafting table then use it near water to collect it fertilizer can can speed up growth, okay? When crops reach mature stage, you can use pickaxe to harvest them. Understood. Sounds great. What is this? Craft a storage box with crafting table to store items that you don't need it need at. To store items you don't need at. Huh? Craft a storage box with a crafting table to store items you don't need at. Okay, sure. <laughs> what is this? Old Joe's stall. Okay, sure. 
go to Joe's home. Okay, sure. Go to Joe's home. Okay, proceed to destination. Crafting table. Oh, interesting. Show craftable items only. Oh, very cool. Is this my bed or is this Joe's bed? After a character death, you will you will revive at, at the bed where you last slept. Sleeping can. What? Sleeping can what? Okay. New guidelines. Okay, yeah, sure. E. Okay. So this, this is kind of my room then, right? What is this? Mobile surveyor. I probably should have collected more copper ores when I had the chance. You see that? Yeah. Crafted crafting table. Super drill. Wait, do I have that? Hang on. There. Is there another furnace here? Yeah, I should have collected all my bars earlier. Digging and walking and fighting will con con consume sat seti seti sat seti. Eating ingredients can slightly fill. What? I think they meant, yeah, so hunger, basically. What is this? It won't run. Seems like some key components are missing. Okay, sure. It won't run. Seems like, okay. No connect. Okay. All right. It looks, doesn't look like I can do anything else with this. Interesting. Well, there's sparkles here. What was the sparkle? It's kind of like probably Core Keeper, where certain things sparkle and you want to dig through it, right? Oh, canned food. Nice. Okay, so I definitely want to hit up those sparkles. Uh, stone pack severely worn out. All right, so like I said, durability. We might actually have to craft new, new pickaxe. Damage. Okay, so it's completely broken, meaning it's completely gone. Yep, so we're going to have to constantly create pickaxes. Hopefully there's a legendary pickaxe that we can craft or find, so I don't have to constantly make a pickaxe. I'm not a big fan of these durability mechanics. It's just one of those resource sinks. Um, oh yeah, this is... Do I have a torch? There you go. Might be just a uh, a cliff. What was it? I think it was like I click. What what was the dash key that they were saying earlier? Oh oh I I oh can I get it back? I hope I can get it back. I don't know if I can get my torch back. I guess you put it down, you don't you, you don't get it back. 
What was the dash key? Oh, space bar, right? What was the planting? Wasn't there like a planting thingy? How, how, it said something about planting. Wasn't there like a guide? Planting, right? What's it say? I think I just click on some seed, right? And then it needs water, right? I have to craft some canteen, it said. Is there a canteen? How do I get the canteen? Canteen, there we go. What does it require? Iron plates. And we have iron plates. Do we get water? Or do we? <laughs> or do we? I have to click on it, right? What's this? Worm eggs. Mushrooms. Oh, we should. Get water from river. Where's the river? Is that a river? I don't know if that's a river. Nope, that's not a river. Looks like there's a river on the other side. Oh, looks like there's a river on the other side. Is there a map? Okay, there was probably a river down below, too. Oh, okay, there's a river here. Okay. There we go. Cool. Alright, let's plant some more of this. Is there any other seeds? Raw meat? Wheat? Cabbage seeds? Okay, cool. And then three. All right, that's not bad. Okay, I'm okay with this. It's fair. Okay. Oh, hey, there's, you can actually see your reflection down, down below. Yeah, I don't think you get the torches back. Maybe I'm wrong. Don't know. How do I craft more torches? Shattered wood, right? There you go. Okay, that's simple and quick. Alright, can I dash across the river? How do I get to the other side? Can I break down my walls? I don't know if I can break down my walls. Well, I mean, I guess on the bright side, you can't break down your wall. Maybe you can, but I'm not figuring that out. How do you remove stuff? I don't know how you remove stuff. Maybe bombs. Yeah. Can I go around this? No, I can't. It's blocked. Yeah, I don't know how to get around this. I mean, I could probably create a bridge along that side. 
Maybe I can destroy the walls if I spend more time on it. Oh shit, oh shit. What? What? Do I lose? I don't lose health, right? Um, um, okay, okay, I can do one dash. Interesting. Okay. Okay, alright, so probably need to heal, right? What does this say? He'll recover 30% of health. Do I, how do I eat this? Oh, oh yeah, I remember. Right click off anywhere on the screen. Okay, so the mushrooms are very shiny. I, I, I'm gonna need some other weapon. This is not a really good weapon. Oh, what the hell? I got knocked into the water. Well, I guess you can't technically die drowning, right? This just teleports you back. Oh, wait, I think it said something about... Wasn't there like a... Was it, what was the... The thing that shoots my... My pickaxe throws, right? There was like a... a throw key. What was the throw key? There was like a throw command. I remember earlier, we had like a... A throw something, right? She gave us a clue, but there was like a thing! I forgot, like, how do you throw? Ah, shit. What was the throw key? Hmm. There was, like, a throw option. It was, like, a, um, boomerang... ...thingy. Was it shift? I don't think it was sh it wasn't shift. Space is dash. Was it Z? X? No, it can't be. Is there a key binding? Um, tear down tear down mode is Q. Exchange is E. Change torch is left shift. Dash. Use item. Release skill is right click. Attack is left click. Yeah, for some reason my release key is not working. Choose suitable terrain. What? Uh oh. Hmm, hang on. What was the command? I could have sworn that it was like a. a throw key. Yeah, see, so there, there was supposed to be a throw key, but it does seem to be working. Or maybe it's only for that other pickaxe that had the throw option. Usable. What is this? Blue carpet schematic. Okay, so I right click off the area. Oh, 
Okay. What is this? Is that hunger? Do I eat that? I don't know if I eat that. Restores hunger. Let's find out. Okay, that down there is a hunger. It's kind of weird. It's got like a strength icon. Yeah, alright. That's fine. We'll keep moving. What is this? Base. Oh, we got we learned something new. Field guide. Raw materials, parts, equipment. Okay. All right, so we figured out how to farm. I don't know how this throw thing is supposed to work. Might have to either replay the the uh, game again to, to figure out what the hell that throw was about. It might have been specific to that first axe that we got, that we lost. I think Q, right? What was the key command to get? Wasn't there like a... It's like a... Uh, Teardown mode is Q, right? I don't know how you remove stuff. Like, I want to be able to remove the walls. There's got to be a way to remove the walls, right? Shattered wood. Okay, yeah. I think that little thing is the destination. Yep. What is this? Q. Oh, now we get a Q mode. Remove item is left click. Oh, build a qualified house. Left click to view guide. Um, a house is defined as a zone. Con uh, cordon off. Cornered off. Sealed off by four walls. Cordoned? I don't know what the hell cordon is. Off by four walls slash fences and occupying an area of a five by four walls included with at least one door. Okay. It's cor cordon. What the hell is cordon? Unless that's a word that I'm not familiar with. Cordon. You know what? Hang on. Let me Google Cordon. Is that a word? Is that an English word? Or is that supposed to be cornered? Cordon? Cordon off. Prevent access to you from an area or building by surrounding it with police or other guards. By surrounding it with police or other guards. Prevent access to or from an area... Or, pre or building by surrounding it with police or other guards. Cordon off meaning. To cordon off is to block an area, usually with a rope, so that people are kept from going there. After a falling tree crashes through the front window or of a cafe, police might cordon off the entrance until repairs are made. This is more like a... A police or guard kind of thing. So, I don't know why that word is used here. Okay. Alright, that's interesting. Alright. 
cordoned off <laughs> by a wall. Can I now hit? I can't right click yet. Oh, hey, there's a bat hidden inside the wall. I definitely need something better than this. Oh, my God. I wonder if that was paused when I switched to that mode. Okay, so Q. Oh hey, I could br I could get the campfire back. Oh hey, I can take the campfire back. Cool. All right, let's see here. What is this? Ooh, pantry schematic, nice. All right, so I've learned the pantry. Okay, this is my furnace, right? Clay. Copper ore. And wood. Activate. So I should get five bars back. Okay, wooden wardrobe. Q mode, right? Cool, I'll take it. Take the bed too. Or the table, alright. E key. Let's take the furnace too. Can I take the furnace? Equipment in operations. Oh. I take it, okay. Okay. Can I take it now? Nope. Hang on. Can I take the the thing? How do I take the thing? I can't take the thing. How do I take the thing? Hmm. I don't think I can take the thing. Yeah, I can't take the furnace. I think once you place it down, it's gone, right? Stop. Oh, there you go. Okay, so I have to stop it to take it. Okay. Cool, I can tear this down and take it. I actually like the idea of you being able to have a a teardown mode because I know in Core Keeper the biggest problem I had was I can accidentally break down my walls and floors by attacking it. So definitely Core Keeper can use this teardown mode idea. All right. Nice. So farmland is specific, right? So that's something to build. I actually like that too. You can just place down, you can define where your farming is. And core keeper, you can just plant anywhere the hell you want. As long as it's a plantable surface. Okay, this is not bad. Oh wait, hang on. Is that a wall? I was gonna say, but that was checking to see if it was a wall or a gap. I'm trying to just get more copper ores. Throw bombs to destroy clusters of ore. Click to view. Interesting. Okay, place and throw, left click. 
options. Do I, do I, oh my god. I did not destroy it a whole lot, did it? I think I got, I, I got, um, uh, friendly fire damage from the bomb, too. Alright, what is this map thing? Okay, what what is, what is it telling me? Mining. Confirm. Oh. I guess I can place markers. I think that's what it's trying to tell me. Like, use markers on maps. I mean, Core Keeper has that too, but I don't think Core Keeper has specific icons for mining. It's just a flag. Alright, what's this guide? Throwing bombs. Lift up and press left click to use a bomb, which can be placed besides you. A bomb will damage the rocks, forest plants, and monsters in the surrounding area. Learn to throw bombs to toss bombs further within your visual range. Okay. That's fine. I need to figure out how to cook more stuff to eat. Um, oh, that's not that far. Q mode. There you go. Oh, I gotta water this. Yeah, the planting seems to be a little bit involved. I have to do planting in four stages or water a couple of times. Shh, be quiet. You got your stuff? Do they weigh a ton? Haha, uh -huh, thank you, me young men. Young men. <laughs> young man? Young men are speedy indeed. Thank you, young men are speedy indeed. Okay, sure. Uh, let me trouble you a bit more. Help me carry these furnitures into the house. I'm almost done here. Okay. Complete completed quest. Retrieve memory. Place furniture. Place furnace and furniture. Okay. What is this? Uh, light radius. A a light with copper fil filament, though it offers only single color light. It's portable and durable. Okay, sure. What do I do here? Oh, okay, cool. Use it out. Okay. Place a fur furnace and furniture. Um... Hang on, let me move this over here. Okay. Uh, decoration for the square iron table complete. Wooden wardrobe complete. Am I building out his house or my house? What was the other one? Table. Okay. Looks like I'm building out his house. His house. Okay. Oh, wait. I don't want to buy any of this. Shh. Be quiet. Cool. Got your stuff where it needs to be, old Joe. Okay. Thanks. I still need some stuff. And I can uh, and I can call it done. Oh yeah, young man. Wanna learn some skills? Sure. What skill? That's, you know, to survive the underground, you need ores. 
Wait, you are not making me work for nothing, are you? Look at what you said. Is O no, look at what you said. Is O old Joe this kind of person? I'm giving you a chance to train yourself. Also, the faster we finish up here, the faster we can start looking for the one you seek. Fine, I will trust you on this one. Last time, say what you need me to do. Okay, uh, I still need a couple of iron ores. Here, go find me some. Core level one is, is a big place. Where can I find iron ores for you? Uh, I will lend you this mobile surveyor. It can show you where the mining veins are. So lending means I have to give it back. Remember to give me back when you are done. To give me back when you are done. Don't lose it. I think he meant to say, remember to give it back to me when you are done. Don't lose it, right? Yeah. Okay, sure. Okay, we're going to probably need to refill this. Um, how to use an exploration device. After selecting the mobile surveyor in quick menu, press left click to open the surveyor in interface. Uh, click survey to find mining spots nearby. The slider at the bottom of the interface allows you to adjust search area to make your survey more precise. Understood. Okay. Oh, okay, cool. Do I slide anything? Oh, interesting. Oh, okay. Okay. Do I, how do I get off of this? I get out of this. Okay, there we go. Interesting. How do I get more food? What's this? Scorching floor, lose 100 health per second and become likelier to take critical damage while burning. Okay, it's kind of like a trap. Okay. No fuel got me. Exit. E. Oh, okay. I got to retrieve more iron ores. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm digging this game. I like it. Definitely, definitely reasonable in terms of interface UI stuff. Pretty straightforward. Can I buy anything off this dude that's useful right now? Copper throwing axe, right? It's a throwing axe. Mine is not a throwing axe. How much money do I have? Can I, did I buy it? Oh, I did buy it, right? How come he... Oh, does that mean he has zero money? Okay, that's how much money I have, right? What is this 70 thingy? What's 70? Is that how much ore I have? What What is the 70 icon? Or is that gems? I think that's how much ore I have. Eight, nine, ten. No, I, I don't. I mean, this five and that's sixty, right? That's not. That's not seventy. I don't know what that seventy is. Interesting. I don't know what that seventy is. No, I don't want to destroy it. How do I break it in half? Is there a right click in half? How do I select half of this? I'm trying to figure out how to... Was it? Like, there was like a split half or something? It was supposed to be like a split half. Um, I want to divide this in half, basically. How do 
do I do that? No, I don't want to destroy it. No. Right, shift click. Okay, control, right, control key. Control click. Hold control click. There you go. Activate. And then he wanted ores, right? Can I put anything in here? Oh, I can't put stuff in there. Interesting. Shift, okay, shift click moves the stuff. What is this? Weird flowers. Okay. Let's, uh, let's see if I can make this bigger. Um, farmland, right? Nice. I, I do like this. This is not bad. Uh, is there anything else I can... Seeds of underground vines. Saplings. A seedling of a Paul Awana tree that grows exceptionally fast in ordinary fields. Weird flowers. Spores. Moss. Well, let's see here. Is this raw meat, right? Wheat. I don't know what the hell these things are, but we'll we'll find out. I'm guessing it's just to, to be able to get wood. These aren't fully grown yet. Do I have new seeds? I do have new seeds. Okay, cool. Replacement seeds. Okay. Alright, how do I craft more of those? How do I craft more farmlands? Oh, it doesn't say. How do I get more farmlands? Fertilizer. Equipment crafting station. Various tools and equipment can be mainly used. Iron plates and limestones. Equipment crafting station, right? Hopefully that is something that is useful. E. Oh, hey, cool. Copper throw. I could have made my own throwing ass. Jesus. Okay, what is that? Paulwana. Oh, we're growing some Paulwanas, right? Yeah, we're growing Paulwanas. What is this? Plates? Iron plates? Ooh. Okay, that's the mining that we got earlier. Iron throwing axe, right? Where's the polwana? Oh, that's okay. So we have that's wood basically. It's wood. Durability is two seventy five. Durability iron plates polwana crafting station. Let's go with this one. There we go. First of all, I'm gonna get rid of this, and then we're gonna do whatever. Oh shit, I want the, oh, it's the direction of where I. All right, let's see if I can just put a door over here. Okay. 
wooden walls. Where's the door? There was a door, right? Wooden floor? Wooden walls. I think I put the door away. Yeah, I did put the door away. Wooden floors. Put that away. Put that away. Put the seeds away. Weird flowers. Raw meat. I wonder if I could cook stuff. Here, you know, let's put the campfire down. Oh, there is a campfire over there already. Yeah, that's it. okay, that's fine. Can I can't interact with the campfire? Can't do anything with that either. What does the weird flower do? We all, okay, originally pretty eye catchy. These flowers now give off a weird. All right, so I have to do something else with it. I don't know it yet. Yeah, I don't know what to do with a weird flower. Okay. Now that sound effect makes it sound like I've a broken glass. I think that needs to be tweaked a little bit. Cabbage, right? I don't know how to make more soil. Yeah, I don't know how to make more soil. Tough horns. Is there a sort? Oh, there we go. Wait, is there a sort button? It's gotta be a sort button, right? There you go. Okay. Works for me. That's good. Now, I'm going to eventually want to know how to cook stuff, right? Now, how's that survey thing work? Where am I? Millimeters. So where is that ore here? Oh, it's to the right of us. Okay, the, this axe is so much better. So much better. Yep, I can throw it too. Alright, so, so it has to say throwing pickaxe. To actually have that right click feature. Okay, that is the iron that we needed. Somehow I get the feeling these slime guys are not friendly. I do like the graphics. I like the animation and the walk movement. I think everything about this game is okay so far. Other than the dialogue. But I guess that's understandable since they probably need to... ...make some tweaks to, to that. Oh yeah, I like the... Definitely like the throw. Okay, I'm pretty sure I can dig that back up if I wanted to, right? That's like the the R or the Q mode, right? The Q mode. 
get my torches back, which I'm okay with that, actually. I like that feature. And I like the feature if you can jump across the water, because then you could put a natural barrier between you and the mobs. Now, the question is whether the mobs spawn on your side of the river or not. I know in Core Keeper, they've got like this spawn thing. Even though I have my spawner on the other side, it did not respect the the boundaries for some reason. Hopefully they fix that in Core Keeper. It's been a while since I've followed up on that. Alright, so main quest, right? What's the side quest? So fragment. Old Joe, what are you cooking? Freshly cooked dumplings. Your noise is sharpened. Wow, looks really good. Let me try. Go away. I need this to boost my strength. Grow your own food if you want to have some. You have everything if you are willing to do it yourself. You can have everything if you're willing to do it yourself. Damn it, so petty. But then teach me to farm and cook. Sure, I can. But tomorrow's dinner will be on you. Okay, sure, fine. Farming is easy, just requires strength and a bit of patience. See those farmlands below? Yes, they are sp they are specially made through some unique process. Just plant the seeds in, and you are good to go. Is that is that easy? I'm not done yet. After planting, you need to water it, or else nothing will grow. I have some seeds here. I will lend them to you to practice. Okay. Plant one wheat and two cabbages. Target reach is three. Um, how do I make more soil fields? Should be quiet. Old Joe, here are your iron ores. Count them. Um, not bad. Just n nice. I got the tough horns ready. Those are those are horns on monsters. You can use those on as props. Of course, combining ores with monster parts, it makes powerful gear. If you want to learn this, put these iron ores into the fire furnace and smelt them. I will have your eyes I will have your eyes open in a jiffy. What? We'll have your eyes open in a jiffy. Okay. Oh, okay. I gotta stop this, right? Okay, uh, that's kind of weird. All right. Sure. I guess you can't throw in two at the same time. I think he wanted like five or four of these or something. Already, already have one, right? Talk to you. Shh, be quiet. Uh, these iron plates are not bad, just enough to make make it to production. Uh, old Joe, what are you truly making? Stop hinting. Uh, he he, I will tell you then I'm going to make a mobile drill bit. Mobile drill bit? That's right, with a mobile drill bit we can drill into the ground. Then follow the tunnels to get to a chosen location quickly. How convenient. Can you teach me how? All right, so we're making a a fast travel device. Can you teach me how? I can, but you have to do it yourself, the entire process, DIY. No problem, what should I do? Firstly, the materials for the mobile drill bit are the iron plates you just melted, plus those tough horns. See that crafting table near me? Use that to make it. Seems easy. I will give it a, a go. All right, cool. Let's give it a go. Here's the drill bit. All right, tough horn and then five thingy, right? Using the portable drill bit, uh, click to view guide. Place mobile drill bit in a quick in quick menu. 
left click to use, use a mobile drill bit to quickly return to the location of the Traverse Anchor MK1 on the map. What? Oh, he's just going through the ground. Use a mo mobile drill bit to return to the location of the Traverse Anchor MK1 on the map. Okay. Is it consumed? I don't know if it's consumed. The graphic doesn't say. I know it's not consumed. Okay. Use mobile drill bit. It's quest objective done. Oh, okay, cool. Doesn't have a durability, so. Alright. Well, that was neat. Fast teleports, basically. So this is the mobile drill bit. It's so big and strong. Don't get cocky. Even kids in Core Town knows how to make this. You got a, you got a lot to learn. Core Town? Core Keeper, huh? Damn it, really? Okay, I'm done here. I remember you said you were here for someone, right? Yes, have you seen a guy called Carl these past few years? Carl? I have not I have indeed seen him. <laughs> you didn't want to tell me that? What? Really? Where is that guy? There's no news of him for years. He should have already reached the town of the Earth's core in the fourth layer of the Earth's core. The town of the Earth's core? Is that the last human town? It actually exists? I thought it was just a legend. Right, this is feeling like the Matrix, right? Zion. So how can we reach higher layers? You mean lower layers? Oh, go upward. I guess we're going upward, right? Have you seen the ultra drill machine? It's that big, tall iron pillar. You can use it to ascend to the second layer of the Earth's core. But unfortunately, it lacks key components or key component. It lacks a key component, the control console and cannot be activated. For now, we can only wait for the town of the Earth's core to send another team down before we have a chance to leave. Damn, is waiting our only option? But there seems to be a place where the control station schematic can be found. Old Joe, where is that place? I advise you to call off, you to call off that idea. There are hundreds of mutated creatures in there. I almost dead there at first. Uh, died? I almost died there at first? And with your cheap weapon and gear, you won't last a minute in there. Don't judge me by my looks. I'm a real fighter. Well, since you are so confident, kill a few slimes to prove it. With your friendship with Carl, I have to be responsible for your safety. What? What does Carl's friendship have anything to do with me? What is this? Crafting schematics. Show steps to making a crafting table. Okay, sure. Great. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and carve this out. Okay. Wait, why is this vine? No, it's kind of like the roots vine in, um, in the, uh, In Core Keeper. Yeah. One, two cabbages. Interesting. Watering reach. Target reach. Apply fertilizer to speed up. Oh. Yeah, so these roots are kind of like the core keeper's root tree thingy. That's fine. Uh, Q key, right? Oh, shit. Cabbage seed. Oh, shit. All right, let's see if I can place the... I think he just gave me some food.
All right, hang on. Let me see if I can. So I'm trying to basically grow out my own roots thingy. How do I change the landscape? I wonder, well, I guess I have to get a shovel, right? I'm guessing I need to get a shovel. Shovel. Um. Because that's what you do in Core Keeper. To dig out the... The thing. I wonder if you can put the walls down. What is it? Limestone. Can you put that back? No. Yeah, so I can't put down walls like I do in Core Keeper. I can't rebuild the... the natural walls. What if you can do it with the clay? Nope, that doesn't work either. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, so I can't redo lime walls or clay walls. Maybe there is a way to do it, but I don't know how. Or or it's not unlocked. Oh, he gave me a he gave me a bucket, huh? Did I get did I get fertilizer? Or was it free? Oh, it was free. So I don't have to craft it. Nice. Okay, ready for turn in. Hmm. Farming. Nice. Done. No biggie. Don't get cocky. Blah, blah, blah. Requires patience. After the seeds are planted, it will go through three phases before maturity and water is required at each phase. Each for every phase? It's so tiring. That's why I said you need patience. But the town folks once said there was this te technique called automatic irrigation, but has been lost. Oh, nice. Damn, that's too bad. Indeed, we are getting off topic. Now go and water the seeds. Interesting. Harvest wheat and harvest cabbage. Okay. I want to know how to make more of these, these farming plots. That'd be nice to know. Um. Okay. What else can I do here? Uh. Through the what? I have been working for, uh, working for you every day. The traveling is wearing me out. Young man. Young man like you gets tired just by walking. The mobile drill that may, uh, you made lets you return to something super quickly. Sure, I will try it out. Uh, well, I remember the old expedition team left a Traverse Anchor 1 there. Bring it back and put it in my home. The device sounds powerful. Of course, the Traverse Anchor MK1 is an an accessory to the mobile drill bit that lets the user to return to the anchor's location whenever they are. From there, travel back and forth to the initial position via the traverse anchor. I must have have for going back and forth once. I must have a must have for going back and forth once. Sigh, why are you snooping around so much? What? Yeah, some good stuff indeed. Use mobile drill bit. Use mobile drill bit the core. I thought I did this already. That's weird. Retrieve the MK1 decoration for shuttle anchor type completed. What, what the hell is this? 
Oh. What is this? Decoration for shuttle anchor type 1 complete. I don't know what that means. Oh, I get the floor. Oh. Why is this still red after or green afterwards? Well, interesting though, I can get the floor. Oh, uh, oh hey, I get the iron walls. Very nice. I can't get that floor, huh? Interesting. Oh, I like I like removing some of the stuff. That's kind of cool. Um, all right. What well, what else do you want me to do here? What is the retrieve traverse anchor? And then what is the decoration for the shuttle anchor type one complete? What the hell does that do? Oh, I can just place it down. Oh, okay. Not connect. No connect. No connected opening is detected. What the hell does that mean? Okay. Through the. I got the traverse anchor one back in your house. I think that's the sole remaining traverse anchor in Core Town. I must be careful. But finally, I can go out and relax. Okay, let's uh he wants it back in his house, right? Um what else does he have to say? Advanced gear. Uh don't remind me, I've been digging for ore the entire morning. I'm breaking apart. Let me see. There isn't a lot of ore here. You are already panting with only a little ore. You are not broken somewhere, are you? <laughs> you are the one that's broken. My stone pickaxe is just not good enough. If only my splitting pick pickaxe is around. Sp splinting? Oh yeah, old Joe, you know how to craft a better mining pickaxe? Hmm, you have asked the right person. Since Carl and I are friends, I will teach you for free how to craft equipment. Else you will be broken while you are still young. I said I'm not broken. Okay, get to a crafting station and craft an equipment crafting station. Then use it to make all sorts of weapons and armor. I will do it now. Okay. Okay. I think we we uh, went ahead and then jumped the gun on that. So, but it allowed us to pick it up and drop it back down. So that's good. Uh, this throwing pickaxe is still not as good as my splitting pickaxe. At least, it's better than the stone one, isn't it? Pick advanced pickaxe like the spl splinting pickaxe can only be made if you get its schematics. Schematics, right? All right, then let me continue to look for clues. Wait up. Don't rush off yet. Uh, didn't you say this time is free? I don't have any money on me. Didn't you say this time it's free? I don't have any money on me. Uh, old Joe always means what I said. This time, I really don't need a reward. I just want to remind you. You don't have any armor on. It's almost equivalent to running around monsters naked. You understand. Damn it. Your words are so... My words are uncivilized, but the fact still stands. If you want to live to see Carl, go make some armor now. Make armor. Go dig for ores again. I have these ore bombs here. Blast the rocks with these for a quick job. So this is a way. I will try it out. This, so this is a way. Hmm. Okay. Craft a helmet to protect your blank. Uh, receive iron spike helmets. Craft a helmet to protect your what? Protect your head. 
Receive Iron Spike Helmet requirements. Ooh, I get some new rewards, huh? Farming cooking, okay. Kill water slime, and then kill coral slime, okay. Mission list, let's exit out of this. Okay, so we've already got that checked off. Or I guess, no, it's, yeah, okay, I don't know what that is, but alright. Uh, it wants me to craft a helmet, right? Iron plates, oh Jesus. I don't have any iron plates. Wants 10, right? Hang on, how many does it want? Iron plate. I need 20! Jesus. 20. Okay. I don't, I don't need this. What is this? Tube? I don't need to hold the tube, right? Floors? Okay. Oh, my thing is full. Shit. It's fine. Okay. Well, at least I have quests. That's not bad in this game. But there's definitely an RPG element to this. He's gonna give me like a little cooking station or something, right? I need to eat something. My dude is hungry. Yeah, whenever I make that sound, it sounds like broken glass. Well done, cabbage. It's been a while to have something green. It smells so good. Uh, you eat it uncooked? Or what's wrong with you with that? You are wasting the food. At least throw it in the pot for a while. Only cooked food are tasty and easy to digest. Sometimes it can even bring you incredible powers. Oh, well, where can I find pots out of out of a sudden? <laughs> All of, out of thin air, I think he meant to say. You can borrow mine for now. Later, you have to get you have to get back to the crafting table and craft me a new set. Okay. Man, this guy wants everything back, huh? How to cook food. Uh, check recipes to see specific steps to make the dish you want. Press the corresponding ingredient. Place the corresponding ingredient into the ingredient section of the cooking table, and then press cook. A dish can be made as long as the ingredient, uh, as long as the ingredient types and quantity satisfies requirement. After cooking, press save recipe to save the recipe of the current dish into your recipe collection. After saving the recipe, place the amount of ingredients corresponding to the quantities required into the ingredient section to make the dish. Um, okay. Adjust the variety of quantities of ingredients and find the best food recipe. Adjust the variety and quantity of ingredients to find the best food recipe. Top tier food will bring unparalleled effects. What? Okay, um, sure. I think. <laughs> what is this? Sponge. Grains and vegetables. Meat and vegetables. Dumpling. Recipe is incomplete. Please follow the what? Materials. Grain and vegetables. Huh. Interesting. Why, why did it record recipe? Record successful. Okay. Interesting. 
Um, I don't know what that X is. Meat and vegetables. Recipe is incomplete. Follow the what? Follow the what? It's grain and meat, right? Meat and vegetables. Oh, I don't have meat and vegetables. Vegetables. Okay. What's this? Okay. I have no idea. Well, we're gonna need more grain or vegetables. Seems like vegetables is the most important thing here. Apparently, I can store stuff in the wardrobe. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, alright. Oh, maybe mushrooms is considered a vegetable. Oh, no. Yeah, maybe the mushroom is considered a vegetable. I want to know how to make more of these farm tiles. Farming land. Ha, ah, the veg, the veg, veggie dumplings are done. Smell so good. Not bad. Keep practicing. You are creating, you, you are create premium food as long as your ingredients qual quantities right. They said it can bring you even powers than normal. What the hell? I see. Let me try later. Okay, remember to bring me my dinner on time tomorrow. What? What, what is what is this? Quantities. I don't know what the quantity thing is. Current ingredients do not satisfy the recipe's requirement. You still want to make the dish. Cancel. Fruits, vegetables, and mushrooms. Oh. Mushroom is something different. Yeah. Okay, so mushrooms and vegetables is different. Cancel. How about meat and mushrooms? Cancel. I want mushroom, mushroom. Cancel. I don't know. They, she said, ex, ex, or he said, experiment, right? Worm eggs. Cancel. Oh, there is a way to... Hmm, interesting. Oh, grains and eggs. Oh. Okay. What the hell? I gotta get out of it. Okay. Did I did I loot my my food? No. Okay. Interesting. Nope. All right. Water. 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 All right, what else can I do here? Okay, what is that? Eggs. Oh, my. Oh, okay. That's considered an egg, too. Apple sapling. What? That's different. How did I get the apple sapling? Huh? 
That's fruits, right? Somehow I got the fruits. What else did I? What is this? Garlic? Oh, what is this? How how do I how do I keep having like these thingies? It's like I have all these seeds. I did, I don't know where I got them from. They came out from thin air, or at least the guy goes of sudden, all of sudden. Okay. Do I do I water this? Is that supposed to grow something? It's supposed to grow something, right? What is it? Okay, boost restores hunger by 60, boosts maximum health by 50, and crit chance. Restores hunger by 30, boosts critical chance by 2, endurance recovery speed by 10. Okay. Vegetable dumpling. Okay. Oh, look at that. Boost strike speed by 2%, boosts maximum health by 40 for 5 minutes. Oh, nice. Okay, so I get wood off of this. Which is not the same as the the poly something planks. Okay, that's fine. I wonder if the fences can be placed around this. So that way it doesn't go too crazy. Around my base. Yeah, you know what else? Do this here. Yeah, so that should prevent oops. Oh shit. That should prevent the the thing from uh cutting into my left side, right? Alright, so this guy Alright, so I need to get advanced gears. Craft a helmet to pre prevent your head, protect your head, and then kill the shit, right? Alright, so that's fine. And this only has... I need to go back and get some ores. We gotta kill those slimes guys too, right? Where was the ores? Mobile surveyor. It's to the left. It's right on top. It's gotta be somewhere around here, right? It's gotta be somewhere around here. According to this, it says I'm right on top of it. Yeah, I'm supposed to be right on top of it. Yeah, where is that? Alright, five meters nearby. I 
I don't see anything. Okay, so it's to the left. Maybe it's over there in the shiny, I don't know. Rat skin. All right. Well, according to this, it's somewhere right here. Unless I'm missing something. Yeah, unless I'm missing something. Or unless it's underground. Yeah, see? It's to the left. Yeah, it's to the right. What the hell? I'm right on top of it. Yeah, interesting. Like right here, right? This is right here. That's really bizarre, huh? Maybe it's a bug, I don't know. Unless it's above me or below me. Am I missing something? Maybe this is it. Oh, maybe that's it. Huh. Interesting. Well, that's right there, so maybe the orientation is wrong. Oh shit, he actually has a... He has a range damage. Alright, got the corals line. Three water slime? I'm guessing that's the little guys. Yep, not the little guys. Hmm, slimes. So, core keeper. Nice. Oh, shit. Oh, there's a different type of plant over there. Nice. Oh, I like the back. The, uh, the boomerang returning, also doing damage. What kind of plan is this? Oh, it's just a regular whatever tree. Leafy? Nope, don't look like Leafy does anything. All right, so I think I've got some good bit of ore here. I don't know. We might need some more though. Oh, I didn't get anything. Oh, I got eggs. Never oh, mind. Oh, 
Oh shit. Alright, let's see our survey. Survey says... 10 meters up. It could be not 100% accurate, I don't know. It could just be like, hey, this is general area, but it's off. I mean, this should be the area, right? Oh no, it's to the left. Gotta go Beyonce here. Day 10. Copper axes. Breaking down. Oh wait, I do have a uh, nice little drill here, just like a teleport. Very nice. Be quiet, yeah. Advanced gears, no. What's this test? Finally you made it back. I thought you were killed by those monsters. Yeah, it's just a few slimes. No biggie, yes. But what is that monster you are talking about? You have mentioned it a couple of times. Uh, I might as well tell you now. You can decide if you're still gonna go to that place after listening to what I said. Okay, please. There has always been a legend in the town of the Earth's core. When humans first migrated underground, the pioneers, in order to prevent the collapse of civilization, scattered and buried unknown technologies and blueprints deep underground. Uh, and ten years ago, the town of the Earth's core actually received some clues about these blueprints, so they sent my retrieval team here. What? Are you saying that this place is hiding such treasures? If we obtain these blueprints, it could be easy to create the control console, wouldn't it? Well, if only it were that easy. Although we found the burial site, we discovered that the equipment there had already been destroyed. Not only that, but on our way back, we were also attacked by an unidentified creature. Unidentified creature? She looked like a human woman, but with features of a rat. Not only was she incredibly strong, uh, but she could also control the rat swarm. Many of our team members died at her hands and she managed to snatch the control console of the super driller during the chaos. We have been running away from her onslaught for a few years before that, but the turning point came three years ago. Because of Carl. That's right. That young man possessed considerable strength and managed to hold his own against the monster in several encounters. Damn, I didn't expect this guy to, imp uh, to improve his strength so quickly over the years. Under Carl's leadership, we eventually launched an attack and successfully retrieved the, con the control console. During the battle, I suffered severe injuries and fell into a coma. I guess they probably thought I was dead. Sigh, so now you know why I advise you to stay away from that place. I think I will still go try my luck. I might find some schematics there. Okay. I know I can't stop you, but, but you better craft a set of gear first. Go to O... Go to the Den Old Joe Mansion. Proceed to destination. Okay, sure. Fine. Okay. We're gonna have to craft some gears. And we're gonna go to his destination. And maybe we'll find some schematics. I can use some schematics associated to farming. What is that? Transfer identical items. All items to the opposite side. Hmm, base floor. Okay. Well, what's this one give me again? What is this? Storage box, right? 
Iron plates. Cooking. Oh, super drill synchronizer. Furniture crafting station. Okay. Copper plates and limestones with various tools equipped. This section can be used for making furniture. Okay, cool. Foundation casting station. What the hell is that? Tiles. Molds for making tiles. Oh. But it requires iron plates. What does this one say? Oh, I need charcoal. One, oh, I can't make basic fertilizer. Oh shit, surveyor. Survey says... Okay. Alright, I'm just gonna make a bunch of these then. Oh shit, they don't stack. Oh my god. Oh god. Yeah, they don't stack, guys. Oh Jesus Christ. That was bad. That was really bad. Yeah. Alright, that's bad. How oh, about well, well, furniture stuff? What, hang on, not, not it. Storage chest. That's iron plating, right? Okay. Damn it. Iron plates. Everything requires iron plates. Holy shit. I wonder if I can drop this. Oh, I can't, right? It's, I think it's like delete or something. Yeah. Okay. Alright, we're gonna sit here and wait till that's done. So I'm gonna use the bathroom here, so BRB real quick. All right, looks like it's done. We got 20, right? Nice. And that w helmet, right? Helmet. That requires 20, right? There you go. And then hopefully that gets us more shit, right? This iron spike helmet is not really bad. My head won't be harmed now. Ha ha. I didn't fool you, did I? Hey, he he, thanks. Only a helmet is not enough. It's best to cover your body, arms, legs, too. Okay, I will try it in a moment. Oh yeah, I picked up this weird schematic, but I didn't figure out how to make this. Perhaps you can. All right. What was the weird schematics? Okay. Hang on. Let me get rid of this. I don't leave that there in my bar. I need to figure out something about this. Okay, I got the headpiece, right? Okay. Crafting station. What is this one? Limestones. 
Yeah, I guess I'll create a couple of those since I have so many. I figure that will be in, come in handy at some point. Kind of like that in Core Keeper. You never, never have too many bridges and and torches. All right, well, hang on. Why don't I go ahead and craft also some the hell the headpiece or whatever? Right? Thirty. Holy shit. Yeah, go get more of those. Boost melee damage by five percent by five percent, right? It adds armor and health. Oh, maybe I should get those. Armor and health. Nice. Oh, these do not have to be replanted. What was that? Garlic chives. Ooh, very cool. Garlic chives. Now, I want to know how to craft the... The, um... The farm tile thingy, right? I don't know if that's going to help me or not. What does this do? Oh, there you go. Okay. Clay and moss, right? Clay and moss. And then I need fuel. Activate. Oh, I have to control how many I want. I'll leave it. I'll just take all of it, I guess. Stop. Take my fuel back. All right, so what else can I make here? Walls? Fence doors. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Day 11. Can I lift it? I think I can lift it, right? Hang on, Q mode. Yeah, let's put that over here. Um, E key, right? Alright, what about this one? What is this? Show steps to make a doll. Doll training? What does this one say? Drawing of the picker. It records the production method of a, the picker. Picker. Okay. Alright, where do I learn these things? Maybe I go back to this. Okay. A humanoid-like doll used as bait for monsters. Okay. Small warehouse to absorb items in surrounding area. What? Small warehouse to absorb items in the surrounding area. What? Oh, I think it automatically picks my stuff for me, right? I'm guessing it, I can place that around my building? What is this? It still requires plates, though. I don't have any iron plates. Interesting, though. Alright, let's go back out. I don't, I don't know. I need to figure out how to... get more of my tools here. Okay, so vegetables, right? I need to make more dumpling. Um, 
Dumpling, right? Nice. Can I walk away? Oh, uh, okay. Can I go away? All right, I can go away. So we're gonna make more veggies. Or we need to do an uh, get some sort of thing that automates this. But at least the game knows, or the developers knows that that's what people want, right? Add in a way to automate stuff. Oh, nice. I can... Oh, it's growing in front of me, too. Jesus. So this is nice to get wood, right? Because we always need wood. Yeah, it seems the little ones and the large ones are the same. Yep, there's no difference. Nice. I like the boomerang bounce effect that comes back to you. All right, so we have now tiles, right? We can add more. Nice. Oh, wow, the... I wonder if that... I wonder if you can grow on that. Oh, you can't. Okay. Interesting. How about suitable terrain? Let's see if I can put it on the other side. Yeah, that's fine. Wow, that tree grew really fast. Okay, the chai grows really fast, too. Okay, that's fine. How much grain do I have? Do I need to grow more grain? Maybe, I don't know. Yep, I probably do need to grow more grains. Where is the grain seeds? Okay. Let's put that away for now, I guess. I need to get more storage bins. Hmm. Now that requires iron plates. This is kind of not worth it. I don't think that's worth it. Okay. Definitely gonna need a larger water bucket too. Wow, these things grow pretty fast, huh? I already watered it like a minute or ago. Who needs a fertilizer, right? Things grow fairly quickly. Alright, so I gotta get more iron thingy, right? What's this location? 
was like a location, right? Okay. Well, let's go get some more iron. I think that's important. And maybe that little mining spot on the map has the iron. It does. I should probably do a lot of mining just to get rid of my pickaxes. I've got so many of them. Holy shit. I wish there was more recipes for the ores. Copper ores, I mean. Oh, there's a chest in there. Nice. Alright, cool. What is this? I, I think that's just decoration piece on the ground. I don't think that's anything. Alright, that's not so bad. Alright, that's the surveyor. Give me a second, I'm gonna sneeze. Alright, so it looks like the iron is nearby. Um, to the top right of us. You know, it shows copper is on the ground, right? That's probably what it is when it said there was ore on the ground, but we were probably right on top of it. I think we just need to dig up the ground to get the copper ore, or the iron ore. And what we thought was floor decoration, it looks like it's probably iron on the ground. That's my guess, anyways. So we're gonna need some sort of shovel, I think. Or some something to... Be able to dig the stuff up. So I'm guessing that's what the iron is. Yeah, see, so now I'm looking at it. That's probably where the iron is. Or you need like a drill or something. Now I think, didn't that guy say he wanted his survey equipment back? Yeah. So yeah, I have to figure out how to dig that up. Yep, there's iron to the top loft. Or we might have been standing on it. And that's what that distance is. That's what I'm, I'm guessing it's... Yeah, see, we're, we were probably standing on it. That little spot where the torch is... Is my guess. We need to figure out how to dig it up. Oh, hey, look at that. Tomatoes. I definitely want more tomatoes. That looks pretty cool. Oh, no, it's apples, right? I think it was apples. Oh, now I'm thinking about it. The auto picker is probably to pick the apples. Or do we? I don't think we, we... I don't think we have seeds. Oh, the seeds are on the ground. Oh, hang on. What's this? Hang on, hang on. 
Iron pantry schematics. Show the steps to make iron pantry. Oh, there's more apples now. Nice. We got four apple plants. So it seems to be growing in terms of this. We're actually getting a greater number now, right? So two became four. Meat and vegetables. Oh wait, oh, oh okay, dumpling. So meat and vegetables. Fruits? I think it was fruits and something else, right? Just fruits in general. Record recipe? There you go. Cancel. Okay, well, I, I don't know that. I have to figure out that recording thingy. Hang on, what does that thingy do? I think I gotta put all my stuff away if I can. No. Shit, I got nothing there. I need to get another container or something. Maybe I can put away the veggies in here. There you go. And what's this one do? A refreshing fruit wine with a perfect balance of sweetness and fragrance. Restores hunger, boosts excavation by 2% endurance, recovery speed by 5. Oh, okay. Okay. There we go. Now, why is that half stack? I don't know what the half stack on that means. Yeah, see, I don't know what that half stack. Why it's got like a half stack or that half color. Like it needs, it's like this where it needs to be filled or something. That's really weird. What is this? Reduces melee damage by 20% for 30 seconds. Ugh. Useless stuff. What is this? It's uniform. Uh, you. It's uniform spiral. Not only makes a horn tougher, it also symbolizes the rat's class in society. Okay. Okay. Moss spores. Spores of moss that will mature especially fast in common farmlands. Oh. So we can make more moss. If we wanted to. That's interesting. Activate. Oh, you know what? It's probably the... Okay, it's how much has, has already been depleted. Got it. I get it, I get it. Okay. Uh, water? Yeah, it would be nice to get an automated water fertilizer or whatever the hell. Sprinklers, right? Sprinklers. Yeah, I'm enjoying this game. It's not bad. I like it. I, I definitely like it. It's a nice, cozy game, I guess. Since that's what they're calling these type of games these days. Cozy games, right? So yes, I definitely dig it. Now, I think the picker just basically works with the tree. You don't, because I've been chopping the tree down, right? I don't think I have to. 
It's kind of like this. I accidentally chopped it and just removed it. But technically, the stuff around is the only thing I need to chop. We've got 33 now, right? Let's make a storage box. Two plates. One of these. I wonder if it stacks. Let's find out. It does stack. Okay, cool. Nice. Alright, so I got... Hmm. Oh, this storage box is really nice, huh? It's huge. Copper ore, I want to get rid of that too. I don't need this. Don't need this. Scorching core. Core from within a fire slime is used for important organs. Okay, yeah, sure, I don't need that. That's to farm shit, right? Sulfur. Hot sticky mass. Don't know what that is. All right, so the other bin, the other bin is my metal. You know, I, I'll stick that in there because these materials, I have no idea what these materials do. Bone ashes, don't know. I think there was like core or something. Yeah, there we go. What is this? Sulfur? Let's take this materials. These are just materials, right? Sticky mass. Restores hunger, right? That's food. I'll store all the food in here, I guess. Yeah, I'll store food in here. Seeds, right? The seeds. So these are seeds. This is just decoration stuff. Yeah, I'll store decoration stuff in here. That's fine. Put it on the ground and watch it unleash into the sky. Okay, cool. No, those are seeds, right? These are just crafting materials. Which I have no idea if that's the correct... Some of these are correctly craft, considered crafting materials. Um, control, right? Control, right click. There you go. Forgot to take out my iron plates. Oh, I need one more iron plate. Oh no. Because I think one of them was 15, the other one was 30. Yeah, I see. Oh, this is also 15. Do I do two pieces instead of one? Armor health is 70, 50, 50. Iron fist excavation is 0.5 critical. A pair, a durable pair of iron fists that offers complete hand protection. Boosts melee damage by 5%. I think it's just better to get this. Wait, no, this, right? 30. Or two of these. Well, it's actually better to get two of these instead of this, right? Because this is only 5%. This is 10%, right? So it's better to get that one and that one. And we'll come back to that later. Because yeah. that gets us 10% damage. The other one only gets us 5%. Yeah, 
Yep. Okay. So now we have 5%. I need to go get more ores. Okay, so down that corner, maybe? What the hell? Ground. There's a shaking in the ground. Okay. Alright, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And some. Some cabbages. One, two, oops, shit. Three. Hopefully that did not consume my water. Okay, so you can only do a surrounding tile, right? If you stand in the middle, you can do all nine. Yeah, if you stand in the middle, you can do all nine. Oh shit, there's another one down there. It just popped up. Okay, perfect timing, I guess. You're just in time. Alright, that uh, should be fine, right? Now we put our stuff away. Um, and dumplings, right? It's veggies. Veggies and grain. Koi recipe, cook. All right, I'm out of here. And now we're gonna go get some more iron. All right. All right, we're gonna go towards that direction because I think the other one was, I'll have to dig up the ground or something. We'll just go straight through this. Yeah, see, the iron, I think, is right there. That's how we... We thought... Oh, no, this, there's a couple here, too. Yeah, but there's definitely iron here on the ground. Have to figure out how to dig that up. Pretty sure I can't move this, right? Yeah. Okay. Let me switch this over so I can make it's easier for me to click on it. Alright, it's south of us. Yeah, it looks like it's on the ground. No, it's not. That's not it. Okay, let's see here. One more time. It's to the right of us. 
Hopefully it's easy. Or it's in the walls. Oh wow, there's a huge chunk here actually. Unless that's something else. It's all for now, it's something else. Alright, that's to the left of us. Now I did see sulfur recipes for stuff. Or ingredients, right? Sulfur ingredients. Oh, I do see some iron here. Oh wait, there's a machine over here. Is that our destination? I think that is our destination, according to this map. Alright, we have more iron. Let me get all these iron. I'm gonna go back and craft my chest piece. And that way we're a little bit more prepared for whatever we're getting ourselves into. Play. Oh, oh my god, it's moving really slow. It's probably because of the food. It's not tetity. That, that, set, sat eti, right? Sat eti. Hunger. I got an iron tube, that's free. Oh yeah, dash. There we go. Um, yeah, we got a lot of iron ores now, huh? Okay. Okay. I might need to get more wood if it keeps burning our our fuel there. Oh shit, we gotta get more water. Okay. Um. Identical items, right? What is this? What is this? Rat skin? Yeah. These look like materials. Alright, hang on. Um, table, right? I think I can put stuff on the table. Like flour or some shit. Yeah, I can. No, it's only one item, though. Cool. Alright, so... Yeah, that's kind of cool. There you go. Hang on. 
What is it? The chest piece. Nice. And a chest piece. There you go. And then, what was this thing with the picker? Five iron plate, right? So we're gonna test the uh, this thing here to see if we can. That is something that takes the. That does anything to us. Hmm. Hang on, let me see if I can remove this first. Nope, okay. Q. Okay, let's find out if this actually does work like intended. Picker, huh. Is it picking anything? I don't think it's picking anything. Interesting. All right, well, doesn't look like the apple's getting picked. Yeah, it doesn't look like the apple's getting picked. All right, I don't know. I don't know then. <laughs> We'll find out if I can plant the other stuff and make make it work. We'll see. If it picks the um the the grains or the or this over here, right? All right, I'm, I'm gonna put this over here, see if that makes a difference. I think this, I think this is not getting picked. Yeah, it's not getting picked. Hmm. I don't know what the auto picker is if it's not picking anything. Yeah. I need moss, right? I can't make any more. We'll find out if it picks the cabbage. If it picks the cabbage, then we do we do know it works. But it's not, it looks, I mean, it's not picking the apples. So I don't know what that's about. Yeah, it doesn't pick the apples. Okay, that one we've already made, right? What is this one? Copper plates and limestone. What's this one? That was sulfur and something else. Okay, uh, charcoals. Oh, ceramic pieces. Okay. Let's find it. Hang on, let me move this over here. Alright, so it says something about. Limestones, right? Limestones. Oops. Limestones. Okay. One of these. 
one of these. I accidentally clicked on something else earlier, but that's okay. What's this do now? Oh, okay, so I can make furniture stuff in my own bed. Nice. Cabinet of iron mint meant for storing many types of food. Wooden pantry. Okay. Wow, we actually have a lot of these. Switch this out. Come on, the rollover. There we go. All right, so this here, let's go ahead and make a couple of these. Um, hang on, let me make sure the pantry is. All right, so we're gonna make one of these. See what this does. Uh, it's kind of small. I think the storage chest is way bigger. Yeah, way bigger. Oh my god. That was a waste. Complete waste. Yeah, that was a complete waste. I should probably just move that over there. But whatever. I'm leaving it. So... I guess we go... There's nothing else I can craft, right? Yeah, there's nothing I can craft that's going to make any difference to our current situation. What is this? The doll. Hang on, is there, is there a, like a skill tree? Okay, I can't do anything. I think I have to progress the system. Yeah, I have to progress the system. Or progress the game to be able to unlock those other features. So now we're just going to go towards the... The thingy here. The destination. Yeah, it looks like there's a respawn. And some respawn mechanics. All right, here we go. Proceed to the destination. Oh, hey, look, there's stuff over there. New stuff. What is this? Limestone. Okay, that's the same thing as the walls. I think this is just regular trees. Yep. Ooh, yeah, regular trees. Do I break any of this? No. Oh, you can walk through it. Nice. What is this? How to enter and exit a nest. Go to the cave entrance with a ladder and press E to enter the nest. In the nest, go near the ladder and press E to leave the nest. Unable to save in the nest. Okay, understood. Complete. Uh, target reached. Investigate Den's interior. Kind of like a Star Stardew Valley's mine feature, I believe. I think that's how it works. That's my guess. Oh, I can't take any of this, huh? 
Huh, interesting. Okay, so dig mode or deconstruction mode does not work. Okay, that works. Oh, it teleports me. That's look cool. That's very cool. Okay, this is very cool. I like this. Oops, oops, oops. Shit, I accidentally clicked the wrong one. So I can't remove the... Yeah, I can't remove the environment. But I can attack the environment to destroy it. Like, I can't do the deconstruction mode. Basically. Oh shit. Oh yeah, okay. Hmm. I think this is gonna be a problem. Oh my, oh my goodness. We're gonna have to be really good at dodging stuff. Yeah, I can't. I don't know what that is. I think this is a... Oh, nice. I need better weapons. Thirty percent health recovered. Yeah, that's pretty much my thirty percent health right there. Okay. Uh oh, was that Joe? <laughs> no, it's not Joe. I mean uh, Carl, right, Carl? I can't e through that. What is this? Okay. Nice, okay. What is this? Okay, it looks like a little thing I can smash, right? Okay, so that pushes me and pulls me back wherever I need to go. Okay. Meat. Nice. Or that's not so bad, right? I wonder if that was the boss. This rock seems impervious to damage. Uh oh. I got something. Nice, okay. Alright, it's fair. This, this dungeon is not bad. I, I'm i digging it. It's not that bad. Now, how do I get in there? That's the question. E. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, I can't... I can't E that, huh?
The chess is gone. I guess it's a one-time thing. What does this say? Enhanced bomb and a more lethal explosive that's filled with shrapnels. Okay. What is this one? Health dose level 2. 60% health. Ooh, 60% health. Oh, what is this? Sigh, I searched everywhere and didn't find a trace of my blueprint. Is waiting really our only option? Tiss, tiss, tiss. I didn't expect to have an unexpected ga uh, gain? Guess? Gain. Gain. Huh. Humans don't deserve to know my name. Oh, wait. I just got smacked down. Momo. Hold uh, something. No, no. Are you trying to stop me? Don't forget what humans have done to us. Of course I remember, but this little one has some use to me. Since you said that, I can still let him go. Curse humans. Consider yourself lucky this time. Next time we meet, I won't let you off so easily. Hmm, how should I deal with you? Monster girls. Ooh, monster girls. Some hot monster chicks. Hmm, where am I? I remember hearing Lily's voice before losing consciousness. Could it be that she saved me? I hear water ahead. Let's go check it out. Is she naked? Oh, <laughs> in the tub. Huh, you're awake already. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to disturb you. Why are you so flustered? I'm not going to eat you. From the looks of it, you have something to say to me. There is, but could you please put on some clothes first? Are you reacting to my body? <laughs> You're unexpectedly innocent, aren't you? In that case, you go ahead to the main hall and wait for me. Uh, something, I got blueprints, right? Affection, something, something, complete quest, investigate, something. Liz again, talk to her. Is there stuff here I can take? I don't know if I can take anything. Can't take anything. Electricity. There's a little curtain over here. Oh, I can go E. Oh, I can take a swim. Oh, that's kind of cool. Nice. Nothing in there. All right. Uh, talk to her, right? Nothing in there. Yeah, nothing I can take, right? It's nothing I can smash. All right, E. She sell anything? Ooh, she sells stuff. Ooh. What is this? Energy drink. Boosts endurance recovery speed by 25%. Boosts speed. Bombs. No, I don't want anything. Secret shop. I'm pretty sure I don't need this, right? Yeah, I don't need this. How do I get out? What is this? Can I give her stuff? Hmm. What, about, what can I give her? I can give her food. Hang on. Right click? Can I, here. can I give her food? Items are nice, but you don't have to bring them, uh, bring them next. What? What? Okay. Talk to her? What was that one? What does this mean? I have no idea what that means. When can I take the re restrictor off? It hurts so bad. What the hell? What restrictor? Receive blessing. Are you sure you want the blessing from the monster girl? Cancel. Did you save me? Yes, it took me quite an effort to carry you back. You're welcome. I don't really expect anything in return, but I am curious why you wanted to go to that place. I'm searching. I, th I think he meant to say thank you and not you're welcome. I'm searching tech blueprints. With that, I can go to the core level too. I was almost finished off by that monster, though it was a close call. Can you teach me more about that monster? Can you tell me more about that monster? Yeah, I know something about her, uh, but too bad I'm not in the mood to discuss this with you. Please leave. Please leave since you have already gotten better. Oh no, seems like I have unknowingly made her angry. 
how to use your partner's affection and, and preferences. In the main, the menu section, press partners and select the partner you want to see in the list. You can see your partner's affection level and progress in the character's message box. Personal preferences, you can see the gifts, activities, and other actions which they enjoy. Personal preferences. Oh. In the partner menu, click uh, effects to see the perks you can unlock after reaching certain affection levels. This includes partner abilities, partner shops, gifts your partner will give you as level ups. Oh, okay. Send gifts with her with their affection. Tab. Partner. Presence. Oh. Oh, she wants furniture or accessories. Activity. You can sleep with her. <laughs> Take a bath, meal, others, relationship, stranger, gift refused, sold in shop. Friend. Telegram machine schematic shows the steps to make the telegram. What is this? Shows the steps to making a console. Oh. Interesting. I think she gives us gifts. Okay. Whoa. How do I... How do I get her to do stuff? Send. Okay, hang on. Let's see here. Maybe I can make that and give it to her? On scene floor. What is this one? What is this? Swimming pool ladder. Training successful. Okay. Square table. Can I give Oh, can I give her a square table? Send gifts with her by getting close with me like this. Are you after something? Something? What? Are you after something? Interesting. All right. Why are you staring at me like that? I th I just think. That Lilith is so something. What an embarrassing answer. But you are so honest. I like that. I'd rather talk to people who speaks their mind than those with schemes. Ready for turn in. Uh, when can I take the stricter off the hearth? Okay, blessing. What is this blessing? What is this one hundred one thousand thingy? Thank you for your gift. It unintentionally reminds me of something that has happened to me. Something that has happened to you? You can't talk to me if you don't if you don't mind. Actually, both me and Mona, the one who attacked you, were created by humans long long ago as exper experimental subjects. The purpose was to imprint massive amounts of technological blueprints in our minds. That explains why old Joe and the others couldn't find physical blueprints. But if humans created you, why would Mona attack humans then? Well, it might be because she was often bound to an operating table subject to electrical shocks cut open with knives and used for various experiments. So she developed the resentment towards humans. I'm really sorry. And I'm sorry I didn't know you went through all that. I hope you never have to endure that pain again. Uh, you're really kind hearted, you know? Okay, in fact, I can also provide a blueprint for technology. Really? You're willing to help me? It's more like a trade, actually. A trade? Yes. Do you see this restraint device on my neck? As I ascend to higher levels, it in its influence on me will become stronger. The controller to remove it should be somewhere in the higher level. I need your help to find it. Of course, consider it, considering it's a long process, I don't expect you to find it all at once. During this time, I'll do my best to provide the help you need. Understood. Even if it didn't offer the, even if you didn't offer the blueprint, I would still help you find the controller. 
Oh, may I ask for, for the reason? Because in my heart, Liz is my friend. You don't need a reason to help a friend. You're a true. You're truly an interesting human. Okay. Open the tech tree. Use hand-drawn mechanics blueprint. Okay. What is that blessing thingy? That was. It was like a blessing thingy. It says receive blessing, but it costs. It's, it had a parenthesis of a thousand, so I don't know what that thousand is. What is this? What is this? And drawn. Not unlocked yet. What is this hand drawn thing? Oh, I get to choose. Uh, skill attacks and chase your enemies away. Makes bomb throwable. Boosts base speed by 10%. Not unlocked yet. Get 10% extra coins. Alive for now. 10% of being invincible for 5 seconds after taking a hit. Ooh. Get lost. Skill attacks and chase your enemies away. 10% chance of becoming invisible for 0.5 seconds after taking a hit. I'll train that. That's fine. Insufficient gene. What? What was the quest? What It said something about... Okay, it said something about something. Use something something. Wait a minute, it says use something. The hand drawn something. Already did the traverse, anchor, throwing bombs, planting house, prospect. Mine, fill your stomach. Yeah, 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 yeah. Character message. Messages. Work? Meeting? I don't know what the hell. I don't know what this is. Are we strangers or are we friends? We're strangers. It says to use something something for something. Earlier. I forgot what it said. Open the tech. I'll be waiting for you to come back after completing the mission. Oh, wait, wait, there's this one, right? A blueprint from the lost era with an idea so frighteningly ingenious it has been branded as dark, usable. All right, let's go ahead and use this. Okay, uh, tech tree unlocked. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay, so I can research stuff. What is this? Rideable mining carts. Oh, rails. What is this? Mechanical control station. The central hub used for transmitting signals that controls the parameters and operating of the drill. Oh. Levitating mining rig. A usable capable of automatically detecting and excavating ores in an area of the surface. Standing mining rig. A machine capable of automatically excavating ores deep underground. The built I bet the uh, low efficient, low efficiency. What is this? Equipped with conventional processing tool, this machine consumes fuel to produce parts. Oh, okay. All right, so I, okay, so that is something. Okay. Now, what is this blessing thing? Sure. May my blessing guides your way forward. Okay, what's my blessing? For 12 minutes, boost base speed by 12% for 12 minutes. Okay. Oh, I guess E. E to leave, right? Oh. Can I remove these? No, I can't remove them. It's only destroyable. Destructibles, right? Oh, I get the tubes back. Nice. Where am I on the map? Oh. 
have to walk all the way. Wonder if there's a way to teleport back to her easily. Either that or I should just set up a base over there. Like a house there next door. Whoa. Fireworks. Big gore. What the hell is that? Put it on the ground and watch it unleash its colors across the sky. Oh, it's fireworks. Ew. Okay. All right, so I need to get back home. Okay. How do I get back? All right, let's see. I look at the map again. So. For some reason, I went that way, but I end up over there. Hmm, okay. What was the active quest? It says... There's supposed to be a quest. You gave me a quest. Princip. Requirement. Use hand-drawn mechanical blueprint. Yes, done. Open the tech tree. I did that. Oh, there's more. Oh, what, what is this? Oh. More stuff to unlock, huh? Electrical. What is those? Steel boots. Battle boots made of magnesium steel plates. Find something to kick a little... To kick like a knight. Boost critical chance by 10%. Oh. Planting. Oh, water pump. Sprinklers. Oh, pipes. Nice. These are materials that I do not have. Craft and electrical. Electrical assembler. Where's the electrical assembler? Crafting, right? Cutter, electrical component machine. Electric machine bed. Electrical component machine can be used to produce uh, quality parts with higher position. Okay. Steel gauntlets. Ew. These are cool. Well, hang on. It said there's a there's an active quest. My quest says... Open the tech tree. Introduction. The, the surface world is the target. I've already done this. So how do I get the, re the reward? I don't know. It's kind of weird. Okay, ready to turn in. Use hand. Oh, I gotta go back. Oh shit! No. Oh, <laughs> I wonder if that had any consequences. What was this one? What is this? Cotton seeds. Okay, yeah. Do I regenerate health over time? 386. I don't think I regenerate health. Alright, so that was the quest. Talk to her.
When can I take the restrictors off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Our ancestors possess so much fascinating technologies. It's hard to imagine how bright the civilization, bright civilization on the surface once were. Hee hee. So what? They still ended up underground. Cough. I have once read that some catastrophe happened on the surface and drove humans to live underground. Uh, that's how they explain it to their descendants. Huh? There can be something else? Can you tell me? Lilith. It will only add to your trouble. I will tell you in the future when I have the chance. Uh, just do what you can for now. Okay. Like, think of a way to let Mona give you the subsequent blueprints. Oh, there's more blueprints. Understood. But where can I find her? Go ask old Joe. He should have some clues. Okay. Raise affection level with her. I think she just wants furniture stuff, right? Yeah, she just wants furniture. Furniture and accessories are her, her main thing. And then after that, I can sleep with her, right? <laughs> Do all sorts of stuff. And then she gives me blueprints? What's this other... I'm guessing that's blueprint rewards. I don't know what gift refuse means. I guess she gives me a gift. Um, all right, let's go back to Joe. Oh, it goes back to the surface. Okay. All right, let's go. Okay, all right. Nice. Shh, be quiet. Side quests. Let's side quests first. We'll be honest. Is there something else you have gotten from that place? What do you mean? Of course, the schematics. I have indeed found a batch of schematics. Really? Let me see them. Levitating mining rig, blah blah blah, oh my god, can dig automatically. Aha, uh -huh, we can finally release ourselves from mining. Whisper, have you dug? dug? I was doing all the work. Uh, Will, Will, you got the schematic just in time. I need a batch of iron ores. Oh, then be my guest. I have to excuse myself. Uh, no. Look, you have already gotten a mining rig. Isn't it easy to help me dig up some ores? I have not used this mining rig in earnest before. Then let's test out what it's capable of. Two birds with one stone. How about this? Help me gather enough ores and I will give you the schematics I found yesterday. He's got schematics? Huh? All right. First automation. Yeah, it's kind of weird how these quests, when you click on them, talk to the dude. It doesn't give you the full text. Old Joe, I'm back. Boy, it's been a while. I thought those monsters had... Hee <laughs> hee. I had indeed met her. What? You made it back alive? You are really something. Today I told you I'm a good fighter. She was so beaten that she can't wait to escape. Right, I believe you. Not. Cough. They said you knew where she is. I have to go seek her out again. You barely made, made it out. Why go back for her again? Uh, I need to elaborate more. Anyway, she has the schematic for a control station. I will go talk to her. Are you okay? You said which monster you would like to talk to? You said which monster you would like to talk to? They are not monsters. They are just experimental subjects the ancestors created. Tells the story of the experimental subjects. Oh, so that's why. But I still can't agree with her. After all, her hands are caked in the blood of my friends. Okay. <laughs> I, un I understand, but to leave core level one, uh, we can only do through her. Okay, <laughs> through her. Okay, actually, I already have an idea where her den is. It's the northwest corner of core level one. But don't do anything impulsive. There's always another day. Okay, new mission available. Complete, ask something, something. So I've got another mission. The surface world is the target. Look for experimental. Talk to experimental subject Mona. And then raise the affection of Lilith. And then first automation. Reach tech level one crafting. 
Oh. Okay. And it looks like... Let's see here, is this... It all... Oh, it gathered the seeds. Interesting. But it didn't gather anything else. It gathered apple seeds. That's all it did. Interesting. Well, it didn't gather anything else, right? Oh, I see what it's doing. Hmm, weak sauce. Interesting, though. Okay, very interesting. So they basically just gather stuff that you chop up for you. Very interesting. Cotton seeds. Okay. Maybe apple seeds. A couple of these, I guess. The veggie seems to be more than usual. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cotton seeds. One, two, three, four. Apple seeds. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Okay, so we want to get some cotton, and we want to get some more grains, so we can craft more of these dumplings. Grains and veggie dumplings. Oh my goodness, a river. How can I tell? It's kind of hard. Yeah, I need to get this automated water sprinkler thing. So yeah, that was a blueprint that we got, right? Um, cooking station. Insufficient cooking ingredients. Oh, it's probably because the... Uh... Wait, no. how is it insufficient? Oh, it's probably be I saved it and it and there's, it's storing a specific amount. I think that's what's going on here. All right, so the firework stuff. I really don't need all that firework stuff. Okay. And then raw food, right? There you go. All right, so this is cotton. We got some dumplings. Eat that. And then automation tree. What the hell is this? All right, so crafting, right? Tier one. Mining rig. Iron plates, which we have. And levitating mining rig. Automatically detecting and excavating ore in a in an area on the surface. Okay, assembler. Crafting crafted. The crafting table. Research. Oh, I have to research it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Got it. It requires recipes to research. Now the... 
Oh, I thought I had that running. Oh, I forgot to do that. Oh, I forgot to do that. There you go. Oh, shit. I guess I have to get a whole lot more to do the research. Hang on. So what else can I research? The meat? Okay, so that requires copper, right? Tubes, okay. Copper plates. Oh, it's... okay. They're all the same level. Got it. I need to go through one first to get to the second one. Got it. What is this one? Iron tubes. Do I have iron tubes? I do have iron tubes. Tech tree. Oh, it's instant. Nice. Okay, there's no more research button. Nice. Okay. Okay. Components, right? Okay, so I just need that, and then we're we're instantly done. All right, fair enough. Easy. Nice. That's instant. Nice. Easy. So I am research level one, right? And then crafting is receive the levitating monument rig and then receive standing mining rig. Okay. Uh, will your will your rent for this month's up? What the hell? What rent? You have always been leeching off of me here. Don't you think it's uh, you rent is an order? You can uh, huh, you caught that. But you really bear to let me sleep on the floor? I have been a great help to you all these while. Okay. Okay, just just nice. I have errands to run. Wait, you're not fooling me. You're not fooling me to run your errands again, aren't you? Just let me finish. I rushed to build this camp up, so the layout isn't quite right. You can help me expand it. Next time, when you come here leeching again, no rent needed. Great, huh? Okay. But why do I still feel like you have taken advantage of me again? Uh, let me be clear. I can help you, but I don't have the materials. Don't worry. I got them prepared. Take these wooden walls and place th and place then at... You mean them, right? Place them at the appropriate spots within the camp. If the old walls are hindering you, just remove them within the sho with the shovel. Oh, I get a shovel. Let me try. Okay, something, something is finished. Talk to Joe. Expand the camp. Talk to Joe. Decorate the walls. And de decorate decoration for wooden walls completed. Side quest. Camp expansion. I'll be waiting for you to come back after the quest is done at the mission. Okay, okay, okay. What is the mission? What is the quest? Camp expansion. Decorations for wooden walls completed. What is decorations? Take a look at the layout of the current camp, then place wooden walls. Old Joe gave you the right spot. If required, use the shovel to remove the old walls. Connect the new ones with the camp. All right, okay. How do I look at the decorations? Where where do I where do I see the decorations? Huh, interesting. Where where do I see the decorations or the the layout? Where's the de where's the layout? Where is the layout? Huh. How do I figure out the layout? Wait, wait. There is... 
Well, it's got like these arrow keys. What the hell is these arrow keys? Camp expansion. Um, where is the layout? I'll be waiting for you to complete the, uh, after, uh, to come back on the mission. What? Hmm. How do I expand this according to his directions? What's this map icon? Equipment. That's not it. M. Yeah, see, I don't see what he's talking about. I don't see what he's talking about, so. Interesting. Backpack. Decoration for wooden walls completed. Sixteen. Oh, I just need to expand it. That's all it is. I just gotta use the the walls then. What about shovel? Do I get a shovel? No, oh, I guess the shovel is this thing here that I'm holding. Oh, uh, okay. What does this do? Bridge, single use. Okay, I guess I could could put the bridge down, huh? Okay, so I think what he meant was just use the shovel to remove the wall like this. Yeah, I think that's all he meant. That, there we go. I think that's it. Q. Okay, so... Is there a floor? Yeah, there are floors. Let's take all this out. Let's move the... Yeah, there we go. All right, so now we've expanded our thing. Make it a little pretty here, because I don't want to have all that there. We're going to put the wardrobe here, I guess, right here. Let's put the bed in that corner. Makes more sense to have the bed in the corner. I wonder if I can rotate it. I'm just curious if I can rotate the bed. No? It's only one direction. <laughs> yeah, it's only one way. So I cannot go downward on the, the thing. Basic manufacturing guide. What the hell? Crafting table. Okay, sure. Um, uh, do I have anything else I can place down? Nothing else. Let me put this over here then. Fireworks. Ladders. Moss spores. Okay. Alright. Let's see here. Do I have anything else to, to craft? 
Right, let's take some of this out, I guess. I don't know what the moss pour is going to do. Oh, it's a farmable item. Oh, okay. Moss spores is farmable. Okay, I need to research whatever the, the other item is. These are apple trees, I think. Ugh, I gotta wait until the animation's done, right? I just can't click on it. Yeah, I see. I have to wait until the animation's done. Oh my god. Alright, I can't wait to get a sprinkler! All right, let's talk to Joe. Old Joe, come on, look at my handiwork. Uh, the layout is still okay, but without flooring, it looks cheap. What? I have flooring! Damn it, that's all the materials you gave me. You still want flooring? Oh, looks like we don't have, to have enough materials. But I'm doing this to give you a chance to improve your crafting skills. Say, say it, what skills you want me to improve this time? Huh, the crafting table. Be sued, uh, can be used, can be sued, <laughs> can be used to make a foundation casting station. With it, we can make walls and flooring easily. Okay, we'll give it a go. Talk to Adventure Joe. Craft and place foundation, decoration, foundation crafting station. Okay. Didn't I craft that already? I'm pretty sure I got that already. Foundation casting station. Oh, maybe not. Clay. Maybe not. Maybe I didn't. Oh, I guess I don't have it. It needs clay. Come on, stop it. Oh, yeah, yeah, I gotta stop it, right? Activate. Pokemons! Activate! Clay, right? This one. So for some reason, I feel like I've already crafted that, but that's okay. Nope. Oh, I did! I did! Oh my god! Damn it. I did make it. It's right over here. Oh, Jesus. Now, what does it want me to do? Decorate the walls with flooring complete? What's this one do? Stop this. Oh, okay. Oh. I mean, we do have a lot of... Keep hitting the wrong one or rolling over the wrong one. But we do have a lot of this. Let's make some stone floors. I wonder if there's a way to get our materials back. I don't know if there's a way to get it back, but uh, you know what? I'm gonna stick it inside my thing. Screw it. Um. Oh my god, it takes forever. Okay, alright. Well, maybe it's good to have two. Oh, fields needed, that's why. That's why. It's fine. It's probably good to have two, anyways. Um, flooring, right? Wood. Rails. Rails is tubes. That's that requires planks. 
What is this? A place where people enjoy hot soak and splash around but could really be watching? Oh, recovers 1% health per second when... Oh! What's this one? Moss. Activate. I need moss. Okay. Well, how about that? Insufficient fuel. I keep rolling over the wrong item. Alright, so I need to get that wood over there. And I definitely need a sprinkler. Jesus. But yeah, I definitely like the graphics. This is very nice graphics, the pixel. Very, very nice graphic. It's probably going to be next, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. I think I should reset the the tree to be more in the middle. That way I um have a bigger wider coverage. Oh, I don't have any roots on this guy. Oh my goodness, I gotta go get more roots. Okay. Roots, right? I think the roots are over here. Uh, I only need one, right? Okay. Oops. Down here. And then what, what was the other one? The moss, right? You're making me moss. Um, hello? Activate. That's weird. I guess I thought I... Huh, interesting. I thought I clicked on it, but I guess it did not work. Okay, so now I can make a little hot tub. <laughs> mm. To heal. I wish there was a way to to do the natural walls and natural floors or remove the natural floors. All right. Instead of just the bridges. Why don't we just place the bridge here? I can, huh? Interesting. Okay. All right. Well, <laughs> oh, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Eat some dumplings. Okay, I guess I can't go in there, huh? I need to get make a ladder. I think Lilith taught me how to make a ladder. 
It's not in that one. I think it's in the furniture one. Nope, that's equipments. I think it's this one, right? It's a ladder? No, that's a cooking. Wait, this one? Maybe this one has a ladder. There you go. Swimming pool. There you go. Uh huh. Very nice. Okay, let's redo this. It makes it a perfect square. Uh oh, how do I get out? Oh. Interesting. I got stuck in there for a little bit. Alright, that's fine. And then floor decorations. So we're gonna we're just gonna place it down, I guess. Yeah, see there's no reason to to make new ones when you just reuse it. There you go. Okay, decoration for common farmland completed. What what's what's that? Three? What? Oh, this probably wants me to redo the farmland. Ah, that sucks. I have to make more moss stuff. That's okay, I could probably just redo it now, right? We've got some harvest here we can pick up. And then this should be fine. Yep, there we go. Alright, side quest, give me something. The flooring is in place. What do you have to say? Nice job. After the expansion, the camp is so much grander. Okay. But without furniture, it seems a little empty. What do you think we should do with the expansion? Turn it into a dining area? Good idea. It's your job now. <laughs> I can do it. But you have to teach me how to make furniture. Good. You are being responsible. Uh, Self-motivated. It's simple. Actually, craft a furniture crafting station. We already did that with a craft table. Then we can make the furniture we want with the crafting station. Yep. Understood. We already did that. So now I want to just place it down, right? Let's just put it indoors. And then what's it want me to do? Decoration for a long table, square wooden chair, and floor lamp. Uh, square wooden table, floor lamp, long table. Oh wait, what what is these thing? Oh wood, wood, uh, wood, 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 wood. All right, let's go back. Now the lamp, I think, needs something else, right? Ceramic piece. And what was the other one? Square wooden chair. I think I wanted four, right? Oh my god, four. Alright. Well, actually there's a floor here, right? We can always put that down. I probably don't have to make it. Yeah, hang on. Pretty sure I don't have to make it. We can just steal his. <laughs> Cheesy way to get around it. Yep, we can. Alright, so no ceramic needed. One, two, three, four. Nice. Easy peasy. 
Okay. Nice. That's grand and high class. Reminds me of Mika in Core Town. Their roast meat and beer is truly out of this world. There's still exotic places like this in Core Town? I'm so looking forward to it. Ooh, I get a ring. Ooh, I get a ring. A handy handicraft made with glass. Simple yet sophisticated. Ooh. Nice. I got a ring now. Perfect reward. Perfect reward. I got a bunch of tiles. Nice. Okay. Alright, so we got that little table. There you go. A little flower there. And then... I'm not going to bother harvesting any of that. It's fine for now. Alright, let's see here. What else do I need here? To research. Okay, so that one requires... You know, so I need to make this crafting, a crafting table, right? Fire power component or something. Fire power component. Yeah, let's craft this. Nice, okay. Oh, okay, cool. Plates. Uh, oh, shit. I don't want to make all that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. How's that? How's that? Okay. And what else is needed? I already got this, right? Rig. Tubes and copper tubes. Okay. Hang on, before I do that. Tubes, right? This is a design for unlocking tech that is, okay, experimental source. Source. Sources. I need to get that from Mona. I can't. Lost blueprint technology. A design for unlocking tech that is currently... In possession of a monster girl who escaped from the lab. I can't make that, huh? The control station is off of her only. I can't progress until I, I find her. Okay. Alright, so that is what's missing. So now we know... Okay, so now we know. Oh, I need to stop it. Well, that's kind of tedious. Cancel. Yeah, let's throw this in here. Yes. Wait, hang on. Do I have any tubes? I do have one. Okay. Uh, activate. It's good enough for me. Alright, so our next quest is to go find the chick, Mona. Yeah, I have to find Mona. What else? And then raise Lilith's... Uh, I guess happiness. And then crafting mining rig, yeah, that's just to get more more ores. Alright, that's fine. Okay, so this is a good stopping point for me. I actually enjoyed this game. This is not bad. I did have a lot of fun. 
so yeah guys if you really enjoyed watching this or you think you might want to buy it from watching this um, don't forget to check the game out it is called return from core and uh yeah i really dig this a lot I might put some more time into this if you guys enjoyed it and want to see more save right now save all right thank you so much guys for hanging out and watching and uh yeah please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and i'll have a link in the description so you guys can check out this game and buy it if you are interested in it all right see you next time thank you so much for watching